What's up, YouTube fam? It's Dark Angel's Journey. I'm Shakira. So, <laughs> I listened to ICT Space that he had last night, and it was like he was speaking to me. And yesterday, I was very upset with myself because, I don't know, I just had like a weird emotional time, and I just wanted to like stomp my feet like a petulant child. I've been doing really well all week, you know, either trading or not trading as as is appropriate, not trading while I'm working, that type of thing. But then yesterday I took five trades, five. And then when I had like, you know, open profit up to about three something and it, it was obviously it wasn't going up. I didn't take my profits and I left with twenty five dollars. And then I very, very um, stubbornly decided that. I knew best and it was going to go in a specific direction still and then took other losses and then stupidly enough moved my stop. So instead of taking a hundred dollar loss, I took a 175 loss. Like that really got me. Like I was really irritated and I took the evening and did nothing. I didn't even listen to ICT while he was live doing that, that space. I couldn't, I just, but I listened to it this morning and for real, it looked like he was talking to me. So with that in mind, I had a real hard, long look. I took a real hard, long look at myself and what I've been doing. And, you know, one thing that he said during that space was, you know, how can you, how can you think to hold trades for long periods of time if you haven't graduated from being able to find consistency in even finding like five handles or the 10? Right. So I haven't I hadn't done that. I hadn't gone through that process yet. Like taking the time to be bored sense to become bored senseless, finding five handles. So new rule. Starting Monday, new rule. Um one, I'm looking for 40 ticks. 40 ticks. Once it passes 30 ticks, I'm moving my stop up to 20 to lock that in, no matter what. I don't care, no matter what. Then, um, I don't care if it goes above 40, I'll take the 40. Done. Stop. And try to find that consistently. 40 ticks, 20 tick minimum <clears throat> out of that trade. Now, there's, and let me get... Let me get a little small here. Let me get, get a little tiny. Hold on. I think I'm looking at the Bitcoin. I haven't looked at Bitcoin in a while. I was just looking at a, a trade set up there. But let's go back to the... Oh, well, if we're talking about trade setups, I'm just wondering what that was. So we had, from an ICT perspective, we had a sweep of the... A sweep here. A nice shift here. High. Low higher high traded through right high higher high traded through so if i were to go up on a 15 minute and i'm don't worry i'm still i'm still ranting right so um breaker right here bearish breaker right here going to the five minute they came back up into the breaker order block um uh, so and this would be like a breakaway gap i would think Anyway, and then there was a higher time frame fair value gap that they tapped into beautifully and baffle sure, you know, nice, beautiful looking trade. Beautiful. I haven't touched crypto in a while, but you know, you know how it is. Anyway, so let's drop into my mesh here. Uh, yes, we really need to rename that. And I just realized, I was looking, and I just realized that they've removed the auto option in here. I find that to be very irritating. I don't like it. So trading view, if you ever see this, put it back. Put it back. Anyway, so where are we? We're at 16,967.50 after. So this whole week, I traded on the 22nd to 375. Not, not that bad. Yesterday. This I was out and I shouldn't have touched at all. Mobile trade was very bad. And then at 3.23, I came, tried something, entered too early. Fine. This one, 
this got up to about 300 and I didn't take it. And then the 350 macro just knocked me right out. So I moved my stop into break even. It made it halfway to where I wanted it to go. And then here are the two where I just kind of went nuts and <laughs> ridiculous, just pure ridiculousness. I was just being stupid. In any case, that's where I'm at. So I took the time this morning and let me grab a screenshot. Understanding what he's saying now, let me grab a screenshot of, of, you know, like a plan that I've sort of made for myself to fix my demo account, right? And I'm going to take a quick snip and share this with you guys. Okay. All right, let's, let's copy Let's copy this over here. And let's just grab one of these and let's move down to like a clear space here and just drop that in here. Let's make this bigger. All right, so there's six months left in here, right? And I'm at 16, 967.50 as of now. One thing that I've not been doing is recalculating what my half a percent risk is as my my account balance has changed, which has been stupid, right? I really need to do that. So right now I'm I'm trying to see if I can make one percent a month. I mean, uh, ten uh, percent. Sorry, ten percent a month on the account. <clears throat> so if you think about it, if I if I do 250. If I take 250 out of the market every day, right? Quick and easy. 250. That's 250 to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's a what? A thousand dollars? Twelve hundred? I can't count to know. <laughs> I'll drop this. 250 times five. 1250, right? That's one week. So I was thinking to myself, like, I'm trying so hard to do this, all this other stuff and get all these ticks when I haven't found consistency. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find consistency. So this is my target. So 1697 until I finally get over 20, which is break even. So it might take me two months to fix my drawdown. Probably won't if I'm consistent and I stick with my rules. But that's the plan, right? So temper one contract, half a percentage risk on it. So I, I the trades I take need to be like 6.8 ticks until I, I, I get um up to a certain amount and the number changes. So if I if I if I add this 10% back in here, then I can do nine seven point four ticks, which is basically just seven ticks. And 6.8 is just seven takes, seven takes, whatever. And then eight takes back when I get over 20,000 again and so on. But most likely at minimum, I'm going to keep it at eight, you know? So with any luck, I would have built this up to about, you know, 7,000 more than it was by December at minimum. So if I go with what I need to make this, I can... At minimum, I need seven trades a month, which would net me um, about seventeen hundred. Hold on, I couldn't. I didn't screenshot the whole thing. Seventeen fifty, which is a little bit over what I originally wanted. But seventeen fifty, if I follow, if I take seven trades that are two fifty and no losers. Now, obviously, I'm going to have losers, and I'm going to take more than seven trades in a month. But if I can stick to days like this, where I take exactly two trades, one in the morning, one in the evening. Again, this is another scenario where I got to about 200 was meandering about and I should have exited. I moved myself up into profit because I didn't trust it. So I took 75. This is a very, this is the type of day that I want to be trading as. Like this one came up to 500 and I was expecting it to come back down, retrace a bit and then continue on up. It didn't. Fine. I got my 300, 50 more than 250 to handle um, fees and all that good stuff. But this is the type of day that I want to work with. Two trades, done. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. 
That's it. Beautiful. Look at the 14th. Two losses. And this was slippage here. Straight up. Like, tick slippage. Because my stop was one, one was eight ticks. And then I got stopped out in the profit. And I just stopped trading. Like, that's what I wanted to look like. So, if I can do a minimum of seven trades at 250, keep my risk where it's supposed to be, then I'm good. So, that's the plan. So, minimum, if my, and as an example, let's, let's uh, scroll up here. So, as an example, here in the afternoon, actually it's the morning right here in the afternoon yesterday, when I came back, I had a bunch of stuff going on with my mom. I was thinking they were going to come up and take out these highs, maybe fill in this opening range gap. Now, obviously, I'm still not, I'm still too new to be able to deal with the gaps properly, right? And ICT did a lot of um, explaining around the gaps, and he's going to have another another set of um, activities um, or lessons around it, right? So I'm going to throw my executions in here, right? So, so here's where I took the first 100 loss yesterday, and I entered too early because I ended up here. It retraced back down, and I'd had a thing down here saying I wanted it here, and I missed it. And then it made it all the way up here to this order block, and I should have exited right there. I didn't. And then I got stopped out on this candle, and then I got kicked in the teeth again. <laughs> I got kicked in the teeth here, and I, I tried again here. Ridiculous. In the morning, though, in the morning, I had a great setup here, high higher high traded through breaker block right here my desire was for an entry all the way up here so i could have like an eight tick stop they decided to stop at the base of the breaker and then drop back into this uh, uh daily volume imbalance i was i could not take that but for some stupid reason i looked at my phone and i was like oh cool it's back up to where i wanted it so i set the limit order and it just you know flew past it what I should have done was waited to see what it was going to do coming back all the way up. There's, <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. So we had another shift here. High, higher, high traded through. Let's see. Is that what they did? Let's see. Not quite. They, bur they busted through that one. Let's look at it on the 15. Yeah, so what I'm realizing is yeah, so high, higher, high, traded through. They came back up to this breaker right here, which this one tapped and dropped, came in here, and then did did the dirty on me. <laughs> A beautiful run, though. I, exactly at 2 o'clock. Like, beautiful, beautiful run. I wasn't home at 2 o'clock, so I wasn't able to see that. But, and... uh if I take a look at this run, all the way down to this run, yep, came right back up to the 0.75. If I adjust the fib a bit to this and this and take uh, that off. Yeah, so it rolled up right into the sweet spot for an OTE and then dropped beautifully back down to this volume imbalance area. So the base of the um, thing and then tapped at three o'clock on the dot, tapped the higher time frame fair value gap that I was expecting them to draw to. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. So I don't want this video to be too long, but I did want to share that with you guys. And it's. And let me. Let me put this back up here, right? It's come back this way. It's incredible how we can be as new traders trying to get to profitability. You know, like the stress that we put on ourselves to get to where we need to go. But hey, things that I need to remember is. 
I went to college, right? I got an undergrad. It took four years to graduate. If you went, if you did like a master's program, it probably took you two and a half to three years to graduate out of that too, depending on your situation, right? Part-time, full-time, et cetera. So why am I, (laughs) as someone who's learning, and I'm still within my first real year of understanding and studying price action, right? Because I'm not one of these folks that wants to be using any indicators. Like, I want to understand what's happening when price, when the candle's printing, like it's still showing up. I want to understand where where it's going to end up. That's where I want to be. I want to be able to just look, eyeball it and be like, yep, we're good. I'm in. Oh, I don't think it's going to come back from here. Like, I want to be that trader. So understanding that fact for myself, why am I trying to run full tilt to the finish line when I didn't do that when I was in college? And when I think about my day job, I'm constantly learning. So even when I'm trading full time, I'm also still going to be constantly learning. So take the pressure off. Now I'm talking to myself. And if anybody else is out here, like needing to to hear this and understand it we all out here trying to make some money you know i don't know why ict's dropped on this carl this carl fella whatever (laughs) i've never really had a carl at my job trying to be all yap 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 but the concept that he's trying to say is like you don't need to answer to anybody if you know what you're doing in these markets which is where i'm trying to get to eventually but there's no rush Everybody learns at their own pace. And I'm sitting over here trying to be like there now, you know, this is like the, this is the hard part, you know, this is the hump that I'm trying to get over this hump of perfection. And I must be on point and everything must, must work just so I'm trying to get over this hump and I don't need to, okay. I don't need to rush it. And Every day when I get up in the morning, I'd be like, it's okay. We're, we're doing really well. We're doing really well. Because even the, the level of understanding that I have now, I did not have it six months ago when I started this process. And <sighs> I'm massively grateful to ICT for providing all of this free learning to us folks out here who are willing and ready to consume it and understand it. You know, I know it can be like a waterfall, but let's be honest, right? If you're trying to be the best at what you do, you have to take the time that you need to get to be that. It doesn't happen overnight. So with that reminder for myself, this is the new plan. I'm going to keep it simple. Quick 250 or 20 ticks to 40 ticks, and that is it. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts and comments down in the, uh, you know, comments area. And uh, be safe out here. Shakira.